Okay, we're going on an adventure today. This adventure is in Kybella. I am going to get Botox injections in my underarms and I booked time for Kybella, which is like a, it's an injection that dissolves fat in your chin. So, you know, when you go like this, you won't have this. And when it like defines your jawline essentially, which is something that I have wanted for a while. And I don't know, they said, that I, it might not happen today, but they have time for me in case. I don't know why it wouldn't happen today. Last time they said that they like to do the least invasive stuff first, but like, I also don't wanna pay for something that's gonna be the least invasive, which it's like injections aren't even that invasive. I don't wanna pay for like cool sculpting or something when I could just get a round or two of injections and then it's gone forever. We are here. This is the before if we get it done. Takes a while, it might take two injections if I can get it. Let's see. We're doing it. We did the Botox already. Now it's time for the Kybella, which is called something different in Canada. But the before, maybe it's easier to do this. I'm so excited. I'm at the Albany Clinic in North Edmonton. All done, Botox, and then this is where we're at now. Oh my God, it is so sore. <laughs> like, it, it is sore, it is very sore. You can feel it going in, for sure. Um, the question on everyone's minds is, Ashley, did you uh, have a panic attack? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. A certain kind and like length of pain that just doesn't do it for me and my body's like, mm -mm. so I felt like I was gonna pass out. And like, you know the feeling where you're in a dream and you can't walk properly? I felt like that, but in real life. So I was like, hey, sorry, needles kind of make me like lightheaded. Is there a place where I can just lie down for five minutes? They were so nice and they brought me Gatorade and they're like, I'll check on you in two minutes. And I was like, oh, thank you. So I just laid there and I immediately felt better. They gave me an ice pack and I just put it on my forehead because I was overheating like a bitch and I just got my stuff and I left and I paid and um, he did two treatments, like two syringes, vials, whatever, fucking lost another nail. And he did 10 of Botox in each armpit. And he said I might only need one treatment, which is good because I don't want to do that again. I don't want to scare anybody. It's honestly like, it's just one, the same thing about a UTI. Like would I get a UTI? UTI, IUD, Jesus Christ, I hope it wasn't saying UTI this entire time. Would I get it again in five years? Yeah. Do I know that I would have to pop an Addy, which I did this time, thank God, it would have been way worse, and probably have to take a nervous shit and lay there for like five minutes? Yeah, I know that going in. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna drive home. I might stop at a railing place, I don't know. I have other things to do today. I don't know. We'll just, we'll drive as if we're going to the railing place. I'm waiting to blow up. I feel like my chin is already, like it's already, it feels big. I have water. I was also able to pee in there, which was great because I ate so many fucking peppers coming here. I'm trying to do hashtag health, but I'm gonna, well, we'll see where we go. You guys, the swelling, I mean, For reference, I have been icing it. Is this what I've always looked like? It's just, it's just, she's right there. I just woke up and I, like you can already see bitches just, of people who swelled, swelled, swole, they're swole, <laughs> up like this, like I would be having a mental breakdown right now. <laughs> a swelling aside, it is a little bit tender. It looks pretty stupid. Um, we'll see. 
Day two. I just took a before, like I looked at the before picture and I did a side by side with what it looks like now and bitch. Get ready for some swelling, but you know what? We're keeping in mind that it is the second day that I just got a bunch of needles in my face with a bunch of shit in those needles and we're gonna go through some swelling, but you know what's gonna happen afterwards? We're gonna look fucking snatched. I'm seeing my boyfriend today because he's helping me with my railing. Oh, I can't wait for him to see this. Granted, he's like super tall, so he's gonna see this. I was feeling really like, bleh. So I did makeup, <laughs> fun. I also got some stuff in from the BoxyCharm pop-up. Ooh, what was that? Haha, -ha, you can see me. So I got, I did a haul actually on my TikTok if you wanna check it out. It's Younging18 because we're gonna go fucking banned. We're talking about OnlyFans, whatever. Um, update it's now been almost 24 hours so this is the 24 hour mark Woo. all right got some makeup on i don't really want to film film for the next day or two but i just felt really fucking gross and i don't like feeling like that so i did some makeup and i feel better also tato is back in her rightful place I swear to God, I thought she like ran out the door one day because I literally couldn't find her anywhere. She just sleeps in there. And then here are the other babies. I edited in bed recently just because, I don't know, I've been feeling weird. Last couple days, I've just been feeling anxious and I think it's a lot of like construction stuff and then like just life changes. Like anytime somebody moves out and then getting ready to move in and like, it's just, it's a lot. And the weather's been shitty. I haven't seen the sun in a couple days. So I'm just, I'm having a moment, but anyways, I've been in bed a lot. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? What do you guys do when you're feeling like this, like anxious or just kind of off? I've been doing a lot of napping. <laughs> I've also been doing a lot of like journaling and self-talk and affirmations and shit like that. But I don't know. I just, sometimes you just get into those moods, those days where you're like, I just... I just don't have it today, and I have been in that for the last couple of days. Okay, so this is the message then. If you're having a shitty day, get up and drink some water. Take your meds if you have any right now. Get up and do it. I'm going to do it right now with you. Take my anxiety medication, which I try not to be shitty and forget about, but sometimes I'm shitty and I forget about, and it's annoying because I have to take it with food or else it gets like stuck in my throat, so then... If it's like late at night and I've forgotten about it, I'm like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. Get up and do it right now. Take it. Take some food. Good. Good fucking job, guys. And now I'm going to sit in bed. I'm going to edit, I'm going to chill with the pets, and I'm just going to let myself have a moment. Okay, I just want to, first of all, I look like an 85-year-old, and I respect it, honestly, respect the hustle. So, here's the, did you just see my cat in there? It's a ghost. Um, <laughs> okay, here's the update. Also, shouts out to my boyfriend who is a freaking superstar and he framed out the one set of stairs right now, I'll show you. Oh, there you are, hello there, sir. So, he framed it all in and cut a bunch of shit out. So this is what it's gonna look like here too. I'm gonna have it kind of diagonal. He's just using this piece of wood and he's gonna cut it and do that and then we're taking that piece out and oh my god it's gonna look so good gonna do some either vertical or horizontal railings oh, I can't wait and then I also well I'm down here I should make some overnight oats but I did some of the stairs I didn't do all of them But I did a good amount. And honestly, the amount of staples and shit 
unbelievable. Okay, I'm gonna make some overnight oats now and finish my episode of Criminal Minds and then we're gonna go to bed. <laughs>